Hello and welcome to another illustrated tutorial brought to you by your friends at FrankieUrban.com, the best multimedia designers period. My name is Frank Kelly Valdez and today I will be making your whole life a lot easier by taking baby steps with you and showing you how to properly prep your files for color reflections. This is called Cut Contour 101. Enjoy. First of all, here we have an image on um, Illustrator. And this image, as you can see, is called Runner AI. Um, this right here is not a placed image. It is an open file. You file and open, and you grab an image for when you're going to do the paths. So um, this is what we should do all the time, because if we place an image, then we also have to get the image and, you know, place it in there. And, like, we, when we move the files and the folders or whatever it'll get lost and then it'll ask you for the picture and you know we don't we want to avoid that so what we'll do is just open a picture from right here and then we'll work on it and then save it as an AI file so first of all you're gonna look at this picture and then you just make the path around it as so and it should look like this when you make the path there you go so you can see if you notice here um, you can notice that now we have, you know, the path around the sky. So that's what we wanted to cut out. And if we go down here, you know, we got in between the legs. And we got this, which is going to be the composition of the stand. And, you know, the one-eighth of an inch down here. So, as we can see here, uh, what we're going to do for for the for the color reflections what they want is a path but they wanted they wanted you to duplicate the path and put it on a separate layer and then put it as a spot color so that's what we're going to do today and we take the two paths which are going to be cuttable so you know we just take these both paths we are going to select them and we're going to copy them uh, on the Mac you can press control uh, com Apple C, I mean, sorry, that's for the Windows Command C. Um, you select the layer, and then for paste in place, you go Apple Shift V, and that'll paste it in place. So, right now, I do have the spot color made to their preference, uh, but I'm going to show you what they really want so that next time you do it, you have the same options on it. So, when you select the path, you're going to select the outline, right? and you're going to go over here up to the color guide and you're going to go to the options and you're going to create a new swatch you're going to create the swatch exactly like this this is exactly how it needs to be you're going to name it cut contour right and it has to be higher uppercase C and uppercase C and it has to be no space it has to be just like this cut contour so then this is going to be a spot color and this is going to be CMYK. And we're going to bring all these down to zero. And we're going to have 100% magenta. So that's 100. And it should look like this. So it's 100% magenta. And a spot color, CMYK. And it needs to be named Cut Contour. When I press OK, it might tell me that I already have it. Exactly. So I don't really need this. I'll just go up to my swatch, since I already do have it, and select it. And oop, I got mail. Um, and there you go. See, so you have uh, the spot color selected right there. Cut contour. Uh, we're gonna do the same with the path. So we're just gonna select the color, I guess, and then select this. And that tells the machine, hey, you have to cut right here. So next time you do this, you know it has to be exactly that way. So that goes for all files and folders. Now we're gonna lock this because we're not gonna use this anymore. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the offset path on the picture so that, um, you know, we have the path selected and, you know, we have a clipping path on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the one, the outer path, which is this one right here, select it, and we're going to go object, um, path, offset path, and we're going to do it uh, 0.125 
which is an eighth of an inch. And there we go, we have that path. And now with that path right there, which is selected, uh, we can go ahead and delete this one because we're not going to use it. We select this path right here, and then we go... Um, Oh wait, let's let's just put these in the in the same group so that we don't get confused. We're gonna take the image and you know take it out of that group because we don't need it. We can take this one out of the group too because I had that before placed in there. So we're gonna select these both images, which are the ones we're, that we're gonna use. All these both right here, and then we're gonna go object. See the image does have to be selected as well as the path for you to make the clipping mask. And then we're going to go over here and make a clipping mask, and there you go. You made your clipping mask, and see, this bleed, this is basically a bleed, so that if the machine has a mistake, you know, or the cutting doesn't go so well, it does have some space for the image, you know, and that, that way they ensure that the machine does a better job, you know, so that's what they need for now. And uh, you can name this second layer anything, it doesn't matter as long as you know this is made here and everything is set so after that I guess you can just arrange this, the the artboard and you know make it so that there's enough space on every side and it doesn't look so messy and there you go that's that's all you need basically so for this tutorial which only took me about like five minutes or something um, I guess that's it. That's, that's all you need. And uh, good luck with everything. And I hope you have a nice day.